the push to go electric isn't just targeted for personal vehicles. State environmental leaders also want school districts to tap into federal and state funding to electrify their bus fleets. They argue diesel school buses pump pollution into the air and expose students to the harmful fumes. There's already a couple hundred electric buses on the roads in New Jersey. But as Ted Goldberg reports, there's a lot of work and money needed to phase out the 10,000 existing school buses in the state. Electric school buses could soon be coming to a district near you. Advocates say it's a win for the environment and for the lungs of anybody who rides them. We do not want the next generation of New Jersey school children to be breathing in dirty diesel fumes. It's bad for their lungs and it even impacts school performance. The kids are breathing this in, the neighborhoods are breathing this in. I was in uh, elementary school in the 60s, so I remember the old school buses that, that did spew out the uh, diesel fuel um, in the exhaust. Trenton Mayor Reed Goshora was one of the speakers at an informational luncheon aimed at people interested in turning their fleet of diesel-powered school buses into electric. This cuts down on it by using electrical vehicles, and so we're excited about the opportunity to apply for uh, replacement of up to uh, 200 or more uh, school buses in the city of Trenton. It's the coming thing, I guess, and everybody's looking to see what we can do to eliminate diesel fumes. Heather Van Motter oversees more than 40 school buses for the Hopewell Valley Regional School District. She's learning more about state and federal grants to help pay for those buses, which can run more than $400,000 a pop. School buses are about one and a half to two times as expensive as regular buses. Uh, plus the expense of putting in the uh, charging stations. We're running tight right now with our budget, so that added money is not feasible for us. It could become more feasible thanks to the bipartisan infrastructure law, which allocates money for electric and clean fuel school buses. The way it's looking, it will be about $1 billion a year, hoping to use the $5 billion up in five years. We need um, grants that are flexible within the contracting laws that New Jersey has. Despite the price tag, EPA employee Lily Black says electric school buses are starting to spread. We're seeing them everywhere from dense metropolitan areas like Newark, Trenton, but then also kind of more rural out in Montana, Wyoming. Rachel Lane works for Student Transportation of America, the second largest private bus contractor in the country. She says making electric school buses widespread poses a few challenges beyond just dollars and cents. There's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's different from site to site because it depends on how many buses you're charging, what the route characteristics of the buses are, what your utility rate book is, and what how you're trying to minimize your power consumption and your power costs. We're hoping to turn over the entire fleet uh, by 2035. Uh, that's our goal. The question is, um, is there going are there going to be funds? It's very optimistic, but you know it's the same goal that New Jersey Transit has for their electric buses. Governor Phil Murphy recently conditionally vetoed a bill that would give $15 million to school districts for these buses. Environment NJ Director Doug O'Malley says he's confident that lawmakers will fix the bill and help make it a law during the lame duck session. The governor did a conditional veto to ensure that the funding that was being used was FY24 dollars. So it was kind of a, it's a small change, it's a very important one. And we hope the legislature moves on this conditional veto next month. And so this program can get up and rolling by early 24. New Jersey isn't alone in growing electric school buses. Earlier today, New York State announced a $100 million environmental bond for buses running on electricity and clean fuel. In Trenton, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.